The disabled person reviews Disabled and Media Report Part 59, My Sister's Keeper. The film this time, I've already reviewed the book. I definitely like the film less than the book. It did not make me as viscerally upset for the rest of the day. I think this happened particularly because in the book, you're reading about the mother and you want to throttle her and feel like you're the only one who sees it that way. But in the film, it's a lot more clear that she is definitely an issue. Um, my primary concern of the film was that they were going to try to Hollywoodize the cancer and they did not do that at all, which I really appreciated. They did make Kate a little stronger on the internalized self-hatred over her illness, but that's a thing people experience so I can get over it. The thing I want to touch on here is the service dog situation. I consulted another trainer friend after watching this to get their opinion as well, but generally there's no standardization in the US, so it's really hard to judge what is accurate or not because a lot of behaviors are things real service dogs do and others don't. I understand why the handler missed the dog's continuous alert, which made the dog go for more loud and visible alert cues, but we didn't see the early alert, so I was questioning why we were doing traditionally pediatric alert cues for this grown adult. And also she doesn't technically need to be wearing a service vest legally, but I really think she should have been vested. She was also unleashed. I know some service dogs don't walk on leashes, but that is few and far between and also usually for a medical reason. I couldn't think of one here. And then during the seizure, she just stood there barking at him, which was odd. She also at one point sat in the chair next to him. I don't want to say that what she did was ever wrong because service dogs are complicated, but it was definitely really weird. And I miss the incredibly written service dog representation we got in the book because they really did not do a great job with that in the film.